Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Sterling, Surgeon General for Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. This video blog is on traumatic brain injuries, causes, symptoms, and red flags. It's important to appreciate that traumatic brain injuries, also known as TBIs, don't only occur in the setting of professional sports. Regarding sports, the really interesting thing about concussions these days is many individuals seem to have convinced themselves that the risk of a concussion or even continuing in football, wrestling, boxing, or MMA type activities after having had concussions won't deter them from pursuing the glory, fame, and fortune to be obtained and putting themselves at risk. That's fascinating, but a very flawed concept as evidenced by the increasing suicide rate among concussed former athletes. A traumatic brain injury is caused by a blunt or penetrating head blow that disrupts some aspect of normal brain function. TBIs may produce changes ranging from brief alterations in mental status or consciousness to an extended period of unconsciousness or amnesia. It's important to note that not all blows to the head result in a TBI. For the purposes of this discussion, the majority of TBIs that occur each year are concussions. In terms of societal impact, TBIs contribute to a remarkable number of deaths and permanent disability. Every year, at least 1.7 TBIs occur in the United States. The most common causes are listed here, including falls, motor vehicle crashes, they're not accidents, being directly struck in the head or some type of assault. Healthcare professionals may describe a concussion as a mild brain injury because concussions are usually not life-threatening. Even so, their effects can be serious. Concussive symptoms usually fall in one of four categories as listed here, including thinking and remembering deficits, some physical disruption, emotional or mood disorders, and disturbances in sleep. Here's what you need to know today. Get to the emergency room right away if you have any of the following danger signs after any type of head injury, no matter how minor it may seem. These red flags include any difficulty waking, any loss of consciousness, confusion, or significant agitation. One pupil, which is the black part in the middle of your eyeball, becomes larger than the other. Any loss of ability to identify people, places, the date, or yourself. Any loss of motion or sensation, weakness, numbness, or loss of coordination. Any persistent or worsening headache. Other red flags include a persistent and worsening headache, repeated vomiting, slurred speech or difficulty with expression, seizures, a child who will not stop crying and can't be consoled, or a child who will not nurse or eat. Avoid head injuries and know how to respond and react. Look for additional content on Sphinx TV discussing steps you can take to assist you in your health journey. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Sterling. Thank you for joining this vlog. Be safe.